Hello all. Hope you are doing well. I am Sachin and I wanted to share with you few of the challenges that I see the banks especially in India are facing due to the various factors. I wanted to share with you what are those factors and how do you really address them. So let's start with I have categorized these challenges into uh, five buckets and these five buckets I wanted to under, uh, address right from the market situation, how the markets have changed, how the entire uh, playing field has changed for the banks to their business priorities, how those have evolved and what are those business priorities, uh, what are the customer expectations, there is a huge change. Uh, compared to few years back, what customers expect from the banks, what are the regulatory and compliance challenges, requirements that banks have to uh, address to, and then what are the internal challenges, your technology challenges. So we'll go through each of them and we will also go through what are the areas or what are the key initiatives banks should be taking, how they should be addressing the, you know, these areas through technology initiatives. So let's look at what is the market condition today. It has changed significantly compared to a uh, few years back, just seven, eight years back. Today, uh, banks uh, are subjected to competition from multiple forces. We have fintechs who have matured, especially in India. There are a lot of fintechs who are offering a lot of financial products. Then you have technology companies who are offering financial products and then you have marketplace where customers have choice to go to. So unlike earlier days when for any financial needs customer or end customer retail customer would come to bank directly. Unlike those times today the consumer has a choice to go to fintechs, tech fins or marketplace and carry out its transactional needs. In this process, now banks have to really compete with these uh, other players, but also have to collaborate with them. So banks uh, positioning in the market has completely changed. While bank wants to have direct connection with the customers and customers, but there is an ecosystem that bank has to work with. And we will see that how that is creating impact on banks entire working and addressing the, these challenges. The next is what are the business priorities? If you look at the annual reports of most of the banks, you will see these priorities. Uh, the order might change, but everybody, the number one priority that I see from the bank's perspective are creating, uh, improving their CASA ratio, which means access to access to cheap money. That's very important for the bank and that's why improving their customer acquisition, improving their retention has become imperative for the banks, one of the key priorities for the banks. Enhancing customer experience. Now customers are experiencing or customers are transacting with the banks through digital channels largely. If you see most banks have 90% or more than 90% of the transactions or touch points uh, happening through digital channels. So customers are uh, customer satisfaction is not enough. You have to go beyond that and create a great customer experience, and that is what is uh, become a business priority. While you want to address that business side, you also have to make sure that there are no leakages due to fraud, the loopholes that you know a lot of. Uh, online scammers are trying to and that's why preventing fraud has become very very important priority for the businesses. Managing the risk with this increasing digitalization happening there is so much of data floating around so how do you manage that risk and then how do you at the same time address the regulatory compliance. Today it's a continuous process uh, with the regulators coming in and engaging with the banks, understanding how well are your systems uh, cope, uh, coping up with these new age demands. And that's why addressing that has become 
very very critical business initiative and last but not the least not the least how do you grow your growth initiatives you have so many opportunities so how do you cross sell how do you upsell and sell more products to 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 do these channels that's a pretty uh, critical area so these are the business priorities then you have on the then then you come to your customers your customers expectations from the banks have evolved hugely and as we saw most of them are transacting through digital channels so they expect great convenience they expect speed they expect personalized service they expect complete uh, safety of their uh, data so banks uh, have to really be on their toes to provide these uh, speed as well as safety as well as personalized services today bank uh, consumers are not happy just by having uh, email sending or offers being uh, sent to them consumers don't like the generic offer they want to have a personalized ones based on their spend based on their earning and based on their uh, lifestyle so you have to create that as well so customer expectations is another pillar that banks have to address today as a key business challenge then as we saw regulatory and compliance uh, has become a huge it's not just a technology thing it is become a board level issue that how are we how well are you complying uh, with the regulations how well are you complying with your uh, standards and uh, with various directives that the regulators are sending uh, continuously so there are multiple things within that how do you maintain ensure your uh, kyc process uh, keep it updated how do you ensure that you are reporting pmla or uh, fema regulations and so on and so forth you have so many things to really look at and it has become a uh, board uh, attention and then last but not the le- not the least you have it and internal challenges because every bank has today uh, technology been there for long time but technology is evolving so fast that on one hand you are sitting with the legacy technology you need to quickly build upon uh, and leverage the new 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 technologies create new products address your bank's uh, needs and customer consumer needs so and then you have your people who are trained on uh, earlier age technologies you need to carry them and yet deliver uh, something at a blazing speed introduce new products leverage these technologies so these are the huge challenges that banks have and yet you have great opportunities so how do you address that one of the uh, ways is to look at categorize these challenges and creating technology set technology initiatives against them what we at ashnik what we do we we work with these banks to help them address these things looking at from a holistic point of view as a consultant before we address any particular set of technology we encourage banks to look at the overall architecture at the enterprise level and i'm going to share with you some uh, four examples how do we do that let's take uh, your unified observability platform now it is very important and, and we we have seen that it addresses your compliance requirements it addresses your customer experience requirements but in order to have that in place you need to step back from a technology or point technology and look at your enterprise architecture level because there are silos there everywhere in the bank you have multiple monitoring solutions in place multiple apms in place uh, they are not necessarily talking to each other so how do i create a unified observability platform whereby it's not just infrastructure monitoring it's not just apm i go down to the level of addressing the entire horizontal application tracing through them so that i give the whole idea is to create a great customer experience whole idea is to create compliance so how do i do that so this is one of the examples one of the ways 
uh, you look at things and then put technologies what you have. The next example is about your streaming data pipeline. Now, many banks have or most banks have their traditional data warehouse in place. Data is coming in uh, one or two places. You would call them data store or data warehouse or things like that. But most of the time the data has been coming uh, or is capable or, or is designed to create a T plus one, T plus two kind of uh, time frame. Now you need to bring data in real time because you are competing against uh, other digital channels. So you need to ensure that you have a streaming data pipeline in place. How do you do that? So again, you take a step back, look at your enterprise architecture, look at what you have, what are the missing pieces that uh, need to be addressed and create uh, first data flow, create your business requirements and then put technologies in place. This is how we uh, engage with the banks. This is how we deliver key projects uh, to the banks. Uh, next is creating your API economy. Now your data pipeline or unified uh, or your streaming data pipeline creates a place for your data which is from inside and how it goes outside. Whereas in the API economy you have to look at both ways when you are bringing data from outside from marketplaces you are interconnected. So how do you leverage that uh, outside data as well and leverage those uh, marketplace players and create a new offering and create your new uh, custom, better customer experience. So again, you look at architecture level and then put your technologies in place. Uh, lastly, and very importantly, how, do, how are you giving experience of your applications to your customers? Even if your applications are working great, if they are working fine, but if your end customer is not getting a right experience that you want, then you have a problem. So paying attention to those pieces that are basically your last mile connectivity, last mile or your point of connect with your customers. How are those performing? Do I have a right scalability? Do I have a right security in place? Do I have a right mechanism to capture and provide uh, quick responses to those first first click that happens on your website. So putting that in again place and it is very complex it has become very complex given that you have too many applications, too many platforms and your application requests are going east, uh, east and west also not just north and south. So creating a right architecture at a high level and then uh, zooming in and putting right technologies in place is the next step. But this is how we engage uh, with the banks. Uh, this is what we share uh, with, the, with all our customers. And so we will be happy to discuss more. Uh, this was the idea to share with you how you can convert your business priorities into your technology initiatives and bridge the gap between business requirement and technology initiatives and ensure that you are always in sync with your businesses and you are adding value uh, to your business. I would be happy to hear from you. Would be great to get your feedback and engage with you when we meet in person. Till the time, thank you for listening. Thank you for patience. Look forward to see you, meet you. Okay.